<laughs> Welcome! Humans, don't be scared. I'm, I'm just come on in. It's fine. It's fine. Right? Yeah. I scared the, the monster. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's fine. And, and, and you're fine. And everything's good here at the Library of Horror Hotel. On a Friday, time once again for Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady. I, of course, am your host, A Bag of Pretzels. Pretzel sticks, to be specific. Today's mask came from the year 2020, but it's good anyway. This one came out in 2020. It was part of the 2020 lineup from Ghoulish Productions. Now, it has two different names under which you might find it. There's the, uh, are you ready for this, Caption Zombie? Caption Zombie, I hope you're with me here. Either Voodoo Doctor, all right? Voodoo Doctor, Voodoo Doctor, all right? Or the more complete name, which involves more letters, the Voodoo Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor? This one. Yeah. Now, uh, you might be thinking, what is that? Is that from some band that uses... I don't think so. I, I haven't seen it on an album cover or anything like that, but wouldn't it be cool for a, for a band to use? I think. Now, the only really extraordinary thing about this one is that it's a little different type of effect from that of most masks. Specifically, instead of looking like a monster or a corpse, or why doesn't my... There we go. Why doesn't the zoom work? It does. It's fine. That's all. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> instead of looking like a realistic monster or zombie or corpse, it's supposed to look like a guy with his face painted, which is a very unique effect. And what I like about that, and see, you can see the detail here, the way it's painted with uh, flesh color, almost like a Michael Myers mask uh, effect going on there. But uh, the reason I think that's cool is because if you wore this at the haunted house, or the haunted hayride, or the haunted trail, or the haunted corn maze, or whatever it is you're haunting, people won't necessarily know it's a mask. They'll think, from any distance at all, that they're looking at a guy with his face painted, and they'll think, who is that? Do I know that guy? You can do a little bit of talking, I guess. I, I wouldn't narrate any big stories or lengthy, complex narratives with it on, because they'll be able to see that, you know, it's not the completely realistic lip movements going on, but I think if you're just chanting and going oogala boogala shmoogala, you could look like a guy who's messing with voodoo and shouldn't be. I like the fact also that he has this sort of salt and pepper hair. The hair isn't totally black. It's got some gray white in it. And I like the fact that the hair is skimpy enough that if you're moving around while you're wearing it and thrashing around a little bit, people can see some scalp through there. So it doesn't look like a, um, you know, a hairpiece or something. It looks like, again, a guy's head with some makeup on it. And not that that's the most spectacular thing they will see at Halloween, necessarily, but it's creepy and it's spooky and a little bit different way from most masks because it's got just a different vibe. It's painted to look like makeup. And as you can see, they started with a very realistic and naturalistic looking sculpture with some wrinkles and some expression going on. His lip has realistic little cracks and wrinkles and lines on it. He's, he's kind of uh, making a, a, an angry expression. But then it's painted as though the guy making that expression painted his face with black and white paint. And it looks like, it looks like makeup. As you can see in the close-up, the way the nose is painted black. It's not sculpted like a skull's nose, it's sculpted like a real nose, so that you wearing it will look like someone other than you, and people will be thinking, who is that? Do I know that guy? And it's creepy, and you creep people out in sort of a different way from the average mask. Yeah. Now, uh, again, looks like a guy who's been messing with voodoo, and probably shouldn't. And I'm, I'm told by monsters, so it must be true, I'm told by monsters I need to try this one on because the whole effect here is, you know, that you're wearing it. I haven't tried this before and I just noticed to my dismay, okay, let me show you, there is no slit up the back, but there is, one more quick zoom in, there is a Ghoulish Productions uh, trademark on there. Can you see? It says made in, made in Mexico down here and then right, oh dear, under the hair, well, there it is, see that? The little skull with the flames coming off of it. The little skull in the flame barrier that is, of course, the Ghoulish Productions logo. 
Now, um, I'm going to attempt to put this on. And as I said, I haven't done this before, and I've only just now observed that there's no slit up the back, so this may be one of those epic fails you hear about. We'll see. Oh, no, actually it went on easily. Okay, now, let me zoom in here. Imagine it was dark. Okay, okay, let's, let's make it really dark in here. No, the mouth. Ah, there we go. I cheated a little bit. See now, how, see how much darker it is with that candle blown out. Okay. Now the effect is. The effect is it's supposed to look like a guy with face paint, so it shouldn't look like I'm actually wearing a mask. As much as it should look like I painted my face with white and black, because I'm doing that voodoo that I do. And ideally. I would wear, uh, or you would wear, black makeup around the eyes, on your eyelids maybe to blend it in a little better. But you saw how quickly I was able to put it on, and right away you can see my eyes in there. And I think it's a cool, creepy thing for Halloween and for, uh, you know, the haunted attractions. Just, uh, and now I know it's super easy to put on, so that's nice too. So until next time, the witch doctor says, Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, wada, wada, bing, bang, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes, why? <laughs>